Hey, Shalom, Shalom, and Shalom, of Souls, but give no praise to Yahweh, Bah Hashem, Yahushua, Bah Hashem, Kaha Kodash, that belongs to the apostles of Great Mosan, and honors to brothers doing the work of the Mosan truth and in sincerity. Uh, Yahweh, that's the raw name of whom the world ignorantly calls God, Jehovah Yahweh. His raw name is Yahweh, and his son's true name is Yahweh Shai. And when we pray, we pray Yahweh, Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bah meaning in, her meaning the, Shah meaning name. So Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. I came across this uh, a proverb uh, earlier on today, and it really brings about what's going on in this world at the moment. Uh, you know, it brings to mind, um, you know, so many different things, you know, we'll see where the spirit leads with it, um, you know, kind of picked one way, uh, uh, you know, to, 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 to go with this. But basically the saying is as such, the forest was shrinking, but the trees kept voting for the axe, for the axe was clever. And convinced the trees that because his handle was made of wood, he was one of them. All uh, right. And once again, you see that happening all over the world at the moment, whereby you got E, um, the leaders thereof, basically tricking people into believing that he is such as one as themselves, right? Jake, but even even Edomites, he, you know, Esau, uh, uh, what do you call? He's even um, uh, he don't he don't even care about his own people. That's why, for instance, the scripture says this. This is Matthew 24 and 22. It says, um, uh, uh, And except those days should be shortened, they should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Because this man, pursuant to Habakkuk, the second chapter, is as death, right? And cannot be satisfied. So Habakkuk 2 and 5 says, Yea, also be, because he transgresseth by one. That one represents philosophies. He is a proud man, neither keepeth the home. That's just why he's, you know, he's got so many military bases all over the world. He's uh, constantly invading people's countries, right? It says, who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied because, uh, I, you, you know, I, I remember the elder brother basically going into the fact, um, you know, when you when you got a grave or whatever, have you, you can just keep can, uh, uh, keep taking dead bodies, man, right? You know, the earth can, you know, just take the dead, right? And that's what Esau is. You know, you can't satisfy the grave, right? And that's Esau. Esau cannot be satisfied, man, with death. You know, that's why he's made the, 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 the you know, the world's most powerful killing instruments, the most powerful killing instruments uh, are known to man. So, so destructive that after they've killed every everyone, right, that they would kill, uh, you know, any, any, you know, a uh, life for periods of time after he had himself been destroyed, right? But that's why, once again, the scriptures talk about how the Lord, um, you know, as we just read in Matthew 24 and 22, how the Lord basically is going to make it such that, uh, you know, he's going to shorten the days because this man will would destroy anything and everything in his sight. Right, it says, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people, right? And then that's, uh, you know, one way in which he has been able to export his philosophies, right, throughout the whole world, right, by way of gathering everyone into these metropolises. Um, uh, you know, you've got people over here that will be calling people, there's an, over here I'm saying, say, England or the West in general, you know, calling their parents, you know, their family members, cousins, parents, whatever, over in the Eastern world, basically exporting the philosophies of the West to the East, okay? Oh, your husband shouldn't be treating you like that, or, oh, go, you can do whatever you want, you know, or oh, whatever, what have you, all of these different philosophies, Right? But, you know, the Lord's not with, with, with any of that, right? But it, as such, because, you know, you, you'll be in certain of these uh, metropolitan areas, right? F for instance, what happens is Jake, for instance, forget that this man, uh, you know, doesn't like, uh, um, doesn't like them, man. This is Ezekiel 35 and 5. And it says, because thou hast, hast, thou hast had a perpetual hatred, right? And he's referring to Esau. He's had a perpetual hatred for the children of Israel. Okay, so then has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. So Esau basically, you know, give Esau the chance. He's going to try and find a way to destroy us. Okay, why? Because he he ultimately wants that blessing back. But the Lord is never going to do away with the children of Israel, right? Because that is the Lord's portion, right? Um. Uh, in fact, let me grab that. In here it says Jeremiah thirty-one, right, and uh, further down, right. It says, "Behold, uh, no, I want a bit more. 
little bit further down. But Jeremiah 31, 35, Thus saith the Lord Jehovah, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divideth the sea when the waves thereof roar. The Lord uh, Yahweh of hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, saith Yahweh, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. Right? Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, if heaven above can be measured, right, and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, saith Yahweh. This is the thing. The Lord isn't going to cast away the children of Israel, right? Why? Because those ordinances are never going to, you know, those. there's no way for Esau, just despite the fact that he has tried, um, you know, to do those two things at the bottom, measure out space, right? And when, what does he keep finding out when he goes up there? Apparently, allegedly, right? He keeps finding out the Lord is expanding, 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 right? Same with the, with the depths of the ocean, Right, the Lord has made it such that, you know, you can have creatures that can live out there, you know, creatures are made of flesh. Right? However, you know, uh, 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 it's very difficult for these, um, you know, probes and whatever, what have you, uh, that Esau has to go down to the bottom of the ocean right, because of the pressure. Right. Um, so, yeah, and so that's it. So Esau, uh, you know, he, he's been trying to cut us off right from being a nation. Man. And you can read that. Yeah, in fact, I'll just go and grab it. It's in Psalms, the 83rd chapter. And it's not just Esau, it's all these heathen nations round about. Psalms 83 and 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. For example, this idea, you know, going back to the topic that the Democrats are, you know, they're pro black, or here in England, that Labour Party is pro-black whatever black means right but basically these israelites think that those two parties are for their agenda right for for their cause right now uh you think about the democrats they're the ones that are very much pro-abortion and then you look into you know the you know the abortion statistics and you find who who who, who mainly gets impacted by that right is, is, is you jakes man okay well, that's why you have that saying, the most dangerous place for, you know, a, a, a black, a, a so-called black child is in, basically, is in its mother's womb. And there was a time in America, sorry, in New York, I believe it was 2012, when more Jake babies were aborted than Jake babies were born, right? So, so rather, let me say, so-called black babies, uh, you know, because that's how they, how Esau would have measured it, Right. And the same over here in the UK with the Labour. Labour made a, a large push to make sure everyone goes to university, right? Now, you know, our parents, you know, uh, those that would have been growing up in the 60s, 70s, 80s, right? You would have had their education back then. They would have said, yeah, you should definitely do that, this, that and the other. And, you know, Labour very much made the push to make that so. Uh, but the education that they were having at those universities back then was very different, is very different to what is happening now. And what, what did Esau manage to do in that time when Jake was in mass going to, into them universities over here in England? Esau was turning them out, man. Right. That's why the Lord has always separated because Lord, Lord ain't about oneness. Right. The Lord has always separated. Um, Would you call it the uh, 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 the nations? Right, because Jake, when Jake gets around these different heathens, man, they start learning after the ways of the heathens. Right, this is uh, for instance, Job twenty thirty two and eight. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, right, when the when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Right, so the Lord from the beginning he separated Israel from all of these different nations. Okay. Uh, let me see. No, so I'm going into that because um, there's a priest at the tip of my tongue, but I can't really, um, I can't really remember where it is. Um, but the friends also, I'll, I'll grab this one. This because this is what Jake does when they're around these heathens, man. This is Je Je Jeremiah two thirty three. What trimmest thou thy ways to seek love? Right. So that's what Jake does when he's around these heathens. Right. He starts trimming his ways. Right. Start trimming his ways. Jake, friends, you have Jake that are, you know, hella raw, hella manly. Start working in these office buildings, whatever, what have you. What they do, right? The bass goes, you do that, right? Hello, hello, my name is so-and-so. All of that sort of stuff. The beard goes, 
right? Right? Or, or gets you know gets cut off, or it gets um you know made uh, Edomite friendly, if you will, right? You know, and in in terms of his character as a whole, right? Jake just basically lets himself go. He lets himself be taken by the ways of this devil, right? Which ways of this devil are are, are death. Right, that for instance, that's why you get a load of these uh, Jakes that have gone into these offices and that have become quote middle class Jakes, right? That you know that they they're just straight up they, all for, all for the juice. They just straight, straight up went for it. Yeah, but I need to you basically want to live like Edomites. So finishing that off, so therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones that ways. Okay, um, so yeah, this man's always had perpetual hatred for us, but Jake still trusts him, right? Jake still, still trusts him because he doesn't understand that this man is our enemy, right? I don't think I finished Psalms 83, actually. Let me, let me finish this first. Right, right. So Psalms 83 and 3, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And that's what these different uh, uh, heathen nations want. They want to they cut. Israel off, man. All right, but the Lord ain't gonna have that because that's not a part of the Lord's plan. The Lord, in fact, we read Surah the tenth chapter, right? Uh, either the fourth or the eighth verse, basically goes into how you know the, the how the Lord is in control of this earth, right? And He's basically gonna set up over the power over the earth, right? One that is profitable, and that's the children of Israel. Once the children of Israel have, uh, 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 you know, been renewed, right? Have taken in the new covenant, and you know we we, we now have uh, hearts of uh, hearts of flesh, right? As opposed to these stony hearts that we have at this moment in time. Okay, so the Lord is going to rebuild, is going to re, um, uh, you, you know, correct us such that we can never go off, so that when we are in rulership, right? You know, people are going to be coming up to us, pursuing to Isaiah the second chapter, being like, "Yo, hey, yo, hey, hey, let us go to the, you know, to the, to the mountain of Israel." Right, to learn of his ways, okay, right, that's what the Lord has has uh, a planned, right, but that, that won't stop the pride of these nations, right, um, they, let me grab this real quick, on that matter, this is Psalms 2 and 1, it says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing, and it's a vain thing to think that you you know you can do away with the children of Israel, like, have you not heard, have you not read, have you not seen Right, you know, you 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 look at what the children of Israel do, right? Even in this lower state that we're in, right? You cannot but draw the conclusion that we are a super special people, right? But that won't stop these uh, heathen nations, you know, trying to get rid of us. But the Lord isn't with getting rid of the children of Israel, as as, as we've been going into, okay? Um, so yeah, let's just finish this off. Uh, Psalms 83 and 5, for they have consulted together with one consent, they have confederate against thee, right? And then it goes to list some of our enemies, the, the tabernacles of Eden, so-called white people, and the Ishmaelites, so-called Arabs, and of Moab, right, so-called um, Chinese, and the Hagarines, Cabal, and Ammon, right, Ammon, uh, so-called um, uh, Japanese, and uh, Amalek, you know, had those, you know, so-called J-O-O-S's, right? So the Philistines were the inhabitants of Tyree, right? And it goes on, uh, it goes on, but you know, we children of Israel have enemies, yet we will be, you know, voting for these people, right, to have rulership over us, right, despite the fact that they have they don't have our interests at heart at all, right, they are our enemies, okay, right, but just because, uh, uh for instance, you, uh, uh, Obama, just because he looked like a uh, uh, Jake, Jake, uh, 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 wanted to, you know, vote for him. Right, because he looked like him. Right, it's Deuteronomy seventeen fifteen. Right, it says, "Thou shalt in any wise." Uh, verse fourteen: When thou art come unto the land which Yahweh thy power giveth thee, and shall possess it, and shall dwell therein, and shall say, "I'll set a king over me, like as all the nations that are about me," thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord Yahweh thy power shall choose. One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. So here it is, right? JB setting up all of these different, uh, you know, voting for for Biden, voting for Obama, voting for Trump, whatever what have you, right? In the hopes and the you know that you know these people have their interests at heart, but that's what the scriptures talk about, 
uh, 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 which call he- uh, Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because we understand that they're devil. You know, all those people are devils, right? Let's, so let's say, let's say you might actually have a straight up, uh, you know, Jake as going into, um, uh, you know, into, a, 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 you know, for the presidency, for example, but he's still working for the Edomite system, right? He's still, he, what, he, you think he's going to somehow make Jake free? No. He's still working for that system. You're still voting for that Democrat party. You're still voting for that Republican party, which is all uh, uh, systems of East. And ultimately, as the polls going into all the time, right? The, the president is 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 a low person, man. Right? He ain't anyone of any particular position. Okay, so hey, that's one thing, Jay. You know, must must not be doing, man. Must not be going out there voting. Right? Must not be looking at these different people and defending them. Right, just because those people, you know, might um, you know, might uh, 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 you know, talk a certain way, talk like you, might pretend to be like you, right? Then all, 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 all the while, they're all. What are they doing? They're destroying you, okay? This is Revelation thirteen and eleven, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And this is going into your two party systems that you see, you for instance, here in the UK and over there in America. Yeah, you have other, you know, smaller parties, but no one actually really cares about them, right? It's all about in America, it's all about the Democrats and Republicans. And here in the UK it's all about uh, Labour and uh, 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 the Conservatives. Those are the two power um, you know, houses in, 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 in British and American politics. Okay. But, you know, this is, uh, you know, referring to, you know, that, um, that two party system, you know, you have, um, in, in, you know, in, 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 in the, uh, which call in the, um, in the Americas, right? It says Republicans, patricians in ancient Rome and Democrats, plebeians in ancient Rome, right? Horn represents power. So, um, yeah, but it's still part of the same horn. Right. So just to, you know, go back to that, um you know, that that, that proverb. Right. This is this is basically what Jay be doing, man. It's, you know, uh, they can see everything is getting messed up. Right. You know, but they're still voting for, you know, for the axe because the axe is it was clever and convincing. Well, what's that going into deception, deceit? Right. The word um devil means deceiver. Right. So they kept voting for the devil. Right. Because the devil's convinced the trees, which you know, you know, in certain times in the scriptures, trees are actually metaphorical for people. Okay, it says um, and uh, yeah, so and and so in fact, actually, yeah, so the forest, you know, the group of people who were shrinking, i.e., being put to death, right? But the trees, right? You know, the people kept voting for the axe. Was what does the scripture say in Jeremiah? How hath the hammer of the whole earth? Uh, uh, uh you know, referring you know to you know to America, right? Referred to as a hammer. Okay, so you know, but kept voting for the axe. For the axe was clever. So basically, for the axe was the devil, right? Um, and convinced the people, right, that because you know that he himself, hey, I'm a person. I, 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 I have, I have this and that. I know whatever. I'm just not oh, this, that, and the other. That he was one of them, right? And that's basically what you see happening in this world, right? And you know, the Lord, hey, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is gonna. Uh, 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 get at these people for not trusting in him and he's going to let he's going to let the axe do what the axe does which is cut asunder scriptures talk about how this devil is his sword eh? um you know um in proverbs what is that um the, the wicked which is thy sword right you know ezekiel 21 and a 9 onwards talking about you know a sword a sword that's sharpened revelation 12 and 12 right this devil's really going to show his horns right and hey you know what you can see, because he's showing his horns right now, but guess what? People are all aboard with the system, okay? So, um, yeah, you know, as always, laws all that was edifying. Um, until the next time we say, Shalom.